Hey guys, Andy here with the AM Pure Maple Syrup. Um, I wanted to show you guys today of a good way to replace these. These are tension grips, um, they're made out of stainless or galvanized, and they're about $23 for a one inch. So, typically, how these use is slide them over your pipe. All the way on here. So it slides all the way over your pipe like this, and this keeps tension on your main line so you don't get slacks and bubbles. So you put your brace wire up, you tie off one side with one of these, one side with the other, and this keeps it tension on there. You keep the slacks out of your main line throughout the summer when you get warm and cold, warm and cold, and keep those ridges out. So a lot of guys ask us what we use. We actually don't use these. We use something called mule tape. Mule tape comes in a big roll like this. It's got a 1,250 pound capacity and costs about 10 cents a foot. So that's $23. This device here, this is 23 bucks. To make one, I can do it for about 50 cents. So you take about five, six feet of mule tape, cut it off with the dullest knife you got. Oh, All right. So then you take, take your loop. I always make a loop on the end, like this. So you kind of fold it over, make your loop, and then make a knot with it. So now you got your knot. I take the pipe, take it in between my legs like this. Now you drape, drape it over halfway, and then you just crisscross it. Cross, and then you cross back over, and then you cross, and you just keep doing this. Back and forth until you figure out you got enough adequate supply on there. So get a little ways up. That's plenty right there. Now the nice thing about the mule tape, now this is tight. It's just as tight as the other side. But I can still slide it back and forth. So I can slide it up. I can move it down there. Same deal. It's a little tight. Slide it back. Tight. And I'll show you guys wonder well, will it hold up in the woods? So let's see if it will. So pretend this is a tree. It's a very weird looking tree. But you tie this around your end tree. Kind of like so. I use that loop around the tree. I just make a knot. That knot should be good enough to hold. And then I'll just slide this back down. Get rid of some of the slack in it. Tight. Okay. I'm gonna back it up. See what it does. on this side starting to crush it it's holding tight no hose clamps a lot of times with those um, tension grips the hose clamps will actually you need to put a hose clamp on because it'll actually slip but see how tight this is it's starting to actually crush this pipe but it keeps your line this is kind of what you want to see in your woods you got your high tensile wire on top tied and this keeps your pipe nice and tight so let's go a little bit further and see what it does. Well, 
Well, we broke the mule tape, but we broke it kind of where it touches on the corners of the forklift there. All right, guys. I wasn't absolutely satisfied with the last one, so we're going to try it again. I was more on the rounded part of the forklift. Um, we're going to try this, and I'd like to see the pipe break. Uh, I don't know if I can get that lucky. Before it broke, um, I know you're not going to get that much tension on your pipe in the woods, but we can get her darn night tight enough that it can do that to your pipe. I think you got her pretty darn tight in the woods. All right, well, see you next time.